Hello and welcome to today's video lesson. It's well, today we're going to talk about the nitrogen cycle as a continuation of our nutrient cycles. Remember, we have major elements required for all animals to be alive. That is to say, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, and hydrogen. They are very, very key. Unfortunately, they can be found within the atmosphere, but there are ways how and um, processes how organisms can have these these elements in certain forms into their bodies but also when they die they decay these organisms get into soil so today we're going to look at the different processes that bring about a balance between nitrogen in the atmosphere and nitrogen in tissues of plants and animals and nitrogen in soil so that is what we call the nitrogen cycle. As you remember from your senior one chemistry, nitrogen has a very big percentage. It contributes to the overall composition of air, atmospheric air as we know it. It's over 70%. So that means all the air you breathe is almost, it's about 78% nitrogen. So you breathe the nitrogen in, you breathe it out because your body cannot make use of the nitrogen just the way it is. Some applies to every other animal and plants too. Now, in the atmosphere, atmospheric nitrogen is in large amounts. But there are processes that bring that nitrogen, that convert it into a form that is usable by plants or animals. And so, let's start with lightning. So, lightning. Provides the energy required for nitrogen to react with to react with oxygen and water to form nitrates. So, when that when that rain that contains nitrates falls down on the ground, those nitrates are able to be used up by to be used up by the plants. So, the nitrogen in the atmosphere, in presence of lightning, reacts with oxygen and water to form nitrates. So, this process brings about what we call nitrogen. Fixation. Just that, we also have certain types of plants that have the, uh, that have bacteria. Now, those bacteria have the capacity of changing the nitrogen as we know it into nitrates because nitrates are usable by plants. So. This bacteria converts atmospheric nitrogen or the nitrogen in soil and make it into nitrates. So, it's also what we call nitrogen fixation and the name of those bacteria is nitrogen fixing bacteria. So these are found within the roots of, especially the juvenile plants. So here we have the nitrogen fixing bacteria. So this was also have the capacity of converting nitrogen directly into, into nitrates. So we have another way nitrogen through to the nitrogen fixing bacteria okay now these nitrates are used by plants to make their own tissues for example they make they use them to form proteins and remember proteins are body building foods so they form their own DNA using the nitrogen they form the proteins now these tissues of plants are eaten by animals. Here we have feeding. So these plants, these animals like you and I, cows, goats, horses, zebras, 
insects feed on these plants and make their own tissues. They build their own tissues. Those tissues are made up of proteins. Which proteins are made up of nitrogen? Well, of course, sometimes those animals might be eaten by other animals. Whole point is that they end up forming tissues that are full of nitrogen. So, after some time, actually these die. So we have death. Now, these plants and these, these animals and insects die. Even these plants finally die and they form organic matter. They decay and form organic matter. Now, this organic matter is acted on so that there are decomposers here. These decomposers are still bacteria and fungi. Now, bacteria here convert the organic matter into ammonium salts. So, here we have ammonium salts and the process is known as ammonification. The process of converting organic matter into ammonium salts. And here we are having the process of decaying. To form ammonium salts. Now, these ammonium salts, by action of a certain type of bacteria, form what we call nitrates. And this type of bacteria is known as nitrifying bacteria. Nitrifying. Nitrifying bacteria. Nitrifying bacteria converts ammonium compounds into nitrates. Still, there is a certain type of nitrifying bacteria that converts the nitrates to nitrates. Okay, so this is still by action of nitrifying. nitrifying bacteria okay so this nitrifying bacteria convert the nitrates into nitrates but how do they do that they add oxygen to the nitrates to form nitrates and when they do that they get the energy they need to make their own food for them, unlike plants, they do not use sunlight energy, but they use the energy from oxidation of nitrates to nitrates because they make their own food within the soil where sunlight cannot reach. So, these nitrates here can now be maybe used up, absorbed by the plants.